All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more quick little video before we call it a wrap for the weekend. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. And uh, this episode, again, I'm your host, Blue Ridge Silverhound. We're going to look at collecting the 1943 Lincoln Steel Sense. It's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal coin in my estimation, only because it kind of screams uniqueness because of its one year type uh, for those of you that don't know why the US government decided to make a one year type steel scent it's really easy of course everything was going on during World War II all right um, US was heavily involved and producing a steel scent was one such way of rationing the copper uh, to use on shells armaments and everything else so that's why we have the one year type zinc coated steel scent now don't be mistaken because it's zinc coated doesn't mean anything uh i actually had a friend from way back long ago it was probably mid 80s that took a bu specimen and actually put it in a glass of water out of all things and um not thinking anything of it uh, the thing rusted right before his very eyes uh, it probably took uh, you know a day you know he'd come back and see all these little rust spots on the coin so it, it's a coin that in comparison to the even the modern or even the copper bronze sense after 1943 is a coin that could very well fall off the face of the earth because of the environmental nature of the coin. Um, you know, they're very susceptible to moisture. Uh, I've seen big collections come out of the East Coast and uh, even slabbed examples have come out with, uh, with spots and uh, uh, rust on them. So, they're a condition, condition sensitive type coin. However, I will tell you this, the coins are, are generally found, like if you went to a coin dealer or a show, or even, even scoured eBay, you know, that sort of thing, you could typically find really nice, brilliant BU specimens, very lustrous coins for under $10. They're, they're common enough still in in the high grade level if if you had to put a grade level that's where it's most common mint state 65 and 66 above all else are going to be your most common dates to find bu wise which is why mint state 67s if they were graded and authenticated through like a pcgs or ngc sells pretty affordably in the hundred to hundred fifty dollar range in fact the most recent one sold for about 163 this 1943s so one would say that even the highest highest grade there's still a fun coin to collect and very affordable all right because of its one year type uniqueness now the coin is also interesting for other couple other reasons all right there's a there's a few really notable varieties that can be discovered and i uh implore you guys to to, to find them uh they're actually not that difficult to find especially if you come across a dealer that really doesn't cherry pick varieties and that sort of thing and let's just call it you know 50 percent of all u.s dealers don't cherry pick which is a nice luxury for the uh, cherry pickers like you and i to kind of go in and you know find a few varieties uh, the first one is a well-known double die obverse okay it's a 1943 philadelphia so it's not going to have a mint mark as you can see from the diagnostics on this photo uh, you get extra thickness in the one nine and four it's it's really it's really more evident on the bottom tail of the nine it's really a lot more thick and you can actually see the doubling but this is a popular cherry pickers guide that's available. So, you know, if you guys were looking to buy a Lincoln scent and you were looking for a high grade one, this is one such example that you could look for, a nice double die obverse. 
The second option in all of this is a really nice repunched mint mark, 1943 Denver, a D mint mark. As you can see from this graphic, it's a uh, southwest spread. So you're going to have the extra D to the southwest of the primary mint mark. And in all intents and purposes, this is the coin right here that should make the most amount of money. In fact, in years past, high grade 66 or 67s and 68s have sold between five and ten thousand dollars. So it's a big money coin. They're out there to be discovered. I've actually cherry picked a few BU examples and have flipped them for a nice sum of cash. Not saying that that's the whole motivation for collecting this one year specific type coin, but it's an overall fantastic coin. Uh, toning wise, you don't see it a lot on the zinc coated steel. Uh, sometimes you get a nice bluish hue to the surface on, on occasion, but you're not going to see wild colors like reds, pinks, you know, browns. Um, it's the, the um, composition isn't uh, that inert enough to warrant toning. But nice little quick video. Uh, we're going to keep it, you know, even shorter because I'm going to wrap this one. Uh, again, I'm your host, Blue Ridge Silverhound. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button underneath the video and share it to your friends, family, and fellow collectors. Um, flip it once, flip it twice. Keep finding those varieties. Thanks for watching and you guys have a wonderful week. Take care.